These are strange and difficult days. In many parts of the world, the coronavirus pandemic is preventing people from being together and many church services have had to be cancelled. For myself, I've not been able to attend a service for over four weeks. What does this mean for many people who depend upon their religious activity and church attendance in order to be right with God? Does it mean that someone who cannot attend church and take part in their normal religious ceremonies is in danger of being lost if they should pass away during this time? To answer this question, I want to remind you of two people who were absolutely sure of being in heaven. If we think about them, we will learn how we too can be sure of heaven. The first received a personal guarantee from Jesus that he would be in heaven that very day. He was, of course, the dying thief who was being crucified next to the Lord Jesus. Although until that day he had lived a violent, sinful life, Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. He had no opportunity to go to church or to be baptised or take of the Lord's Supper, but Jesus told him that he would go that very day to heaven. The second was the Apostle Paul, who spent the last days of his life in a dreadful prison cell. For many days he was unable to be with the Christians, and only left the prison when he was taken to the place of execution. He had no opportunity to meet a priest or to say confession, yet shortly before his death he wrote these words, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and am persuaded that he is able to keep what I have committed to him until that day. Was Paul mistaken? Is it possible to be so sure of heaven? Absolutely. The secret to Paul's confidence is in what he said, if we listen to him carefully. I know whom I have believed. Again he said, he is able. Paul was confident of heaven, not because he himself was able to do anything, but because the one he was trusting in was able to do everything. Likewise, the thief received the promise of heaven when he said, Lord, remember me. He realised that the crucified Jesus, the one who rose from the dead on the third day, was his only hope of forgiveness, his only hope for heaven. So what about those who are prevented by the current circumstances from going to church or seeing a priest or pastor? Or what about those who have lived a sinful life only to realise their wrongdoing as they lie dying at home or in a hospital unable to have anyone by their side because of this awful disease? Are they doomed to be lost, or is there any hope? Yes, there is hope, because true salvation does not depend upon what I, a sinner, can do, but what Jesus, my Saviour, has done. The Bible tells us that God has trusted him with the work of salvation and has made him responsible for the eternal security of everyone who belongs to him. If you want to be sure of heaven, if you want to be sure of eternal life, then like Paul, you must commit yourself to Jesus by trusting him alone to save you. Like the thief, you must simply cry out, Lord, remember me. Faith is a matter of your heart. As the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Thanks for listening.